Hello, welcome to all in this SAP video tutorial. Today we will discuss about some most important SAP PS transaction codes. Okay. So today we will discuss the first one is CZ01. CZ01 is a starting and very important transaction code. It is create project and WBS. The second transaction code is CZ02. This is change project and WBS. If you want to do any changes, then you can change your project and WBS using this transaction code. If you want to display your project and WBS, then you can use the SAP transaction code CZ03. And CZ03 is also used for display work breakdown structure. This is the full form of the WBS work breakdown structure. CZ30. CZ30 is a transaction code to change uh, original budget, right? CZ31 is a display original budget. CZ36 for any supplement. CZ37 is change supplement. CZ38 is change return. CZ88 is a very important uh, SAP transaction code. This is used for actual settlement. Means user has trans needs to transfer the cost from the network element to BS clearing GL or uh, from the WBS to BS clearing and uh, then from WBS PS clearing to CWIP and CWIP to completely fixed assets right CJAG actual settlement report CJBL this is this SAP transaction code is used for reconstruct the availability control of the project because sometimes users doing any work in the network activity and he or she may get the error like the budget is exceeded even budget is already available in the project in WBS CJBV activate the availability control CJEN reconstruct the project info database right CJI3 CJI3 is a SAP transaction code to display actual cost of the project. CJI5 project commitment line items. CJIC. CJIC is to use in the project settlement. Basically, it's uh, link the fixed asset or the cost receiver element to the WBS. CJID. The display project settlement line items. Okay and CN21. CN21 is to create the network element. CN22 to change any data in the network. CN23 is a display network. CN41. CN41 is a project info system structure wise. This is a very good transaction code. In CN41 you can display your summary in project. What are the materials you have planned in the project? How many line items? How many WBS elements you have planned in your projects? In each WBS element, how many networks are there? In each networks, how many services? How many prime cost? How many overhead? How much amount of the overhead you have planned? Each and every tree wise summary you will get. Okay, CN 41 and project structure UV. CN 43 is also you can use for the overview of the WBS element. CN43N overview of the info system. CN52N is the overview of the components. CN53 is the overview of the milestone and you can use the 53N also. CN60 change document for projects and network. CN65 change document for order and network. CV01N is SAP transaction code to create the document. For example, uh, during the starting of the project creation, for example, we have done a survey and uh, the survey has completed and competent authority has approved the survey documents. 
So we need to create this uh, document using CV01 and um, uh, upload those data in PDF form or Word form. And while well, final approval, final stage of the approval of the projects, this document is attached and this is treated as a, a competent documents uh, related with the project. CV01N is a create document, CV02N is a changes document. If you need to display this document, this is CV03N. IM52 is the budget distribution SAP transaction code. IM53, you need display investment management note, KB31N post SKF. MB25, you will get the plant wise reservation list, you will get the material wise reservation list, you will get plant and SLOC wise reservation list. MBBS, display evaluated special stock, means what are the stocks you have planned in your uh, WBS, you will get the report from MBBS. If any pendency you need to get using MBBS, ME2J, if you want to get the report for the purchase order created in any projects, you will get the data using ME2J. If you want to get the purchase requisition report for the purchase requisition for the project, it's a ME5J message processing that is service entry that is ML83. Okay, MM03 you need to get the display material. Okay, and uh, SBWP. You, by using this transaction code, you will directly uh, enter into your business workplace. SU53, evaluate authorization checks. For example, during a project, uh, at any, any project activity, if you are getting the authorization issue, then after immediate execution of the transaction code, you need to uh, execute post error SU53. And that SU53 screenshot will be shared to the your basis team. They will evaluate how what type of the authorization issue with this user and they will resolve the issue accordingly. So this is also a very important SAP transaction code. This is JPD display WBS element, JPS underscore CR project complete management certificate. JPS underscore IM node, IM node budget actual report means how many WBS are directly linked in with this IM node in particular financial area. You will get the report from here. JPS underscore MPR is the project material planning report. These are the customized SAP transaction code. You can uh, ask with your SAP functional and PS, SAP PS functional consultant. Uh, they will design this uh, customized transaction code for your organization. These customized transaction code for particularly designed for your task, particularly designed for your company. And these, these are not the general SAP database transaction code. JPS underscore PEDB, DE output, JPS underscore PROJ. This is the project progress detail. JPS underscore rate completion, service rate completion report. JPS underscore tender, this is tender output. JPS underscore WCAP, that is the application report. PS underscore WF underscore TRSEK for no sheet program and uh, PS underscore WF SCUM for the workflow summary report. And these are the general standard transaction code S underscore ALR. These are the transaction code you can note down for your summary or you can save in your favorite list. Fund overview, budget actual variance, budget actual commitment and reminder planning. For this, you can get the budget updates in your project. And for this transaction code, you can uh, get the availability control. Okay, this is very important. So thank you so much for watching this SAP tutorial. This is the general information I have said with you. And if you think this is useful SAP uh, tutorial, SAP PS tutorial, then please press the like button and please share with your colleagues who are working in SAP PS areas. Okay, these are SAP transaction code. If you know the right transaction code and you want to, if you execute the transaction code in the right task, then your task will be very easy. Okay, so please share with your colleagues and 
friends who are working in this SAP PS areas, okay, in the project management field. Um, thank you. Knowledge sharing is very important. Please share this knowledge with your friends. Okay. Have a good day.